Hello everyone, it is John and today I'm having a look at sieges, or more precisely looking at feral worlds because I recently put up a video about my uh, failed space marine medievals and it had me thinking I remember that there was something in the early days of uh, 40k where there was, uh, it was covered with the fact of you know science technology 40k interacting with medieval worlds now this book is 1988 and here it covers sieges in the 41st millennium so uh, it's an interesting an interesting look now, I have not played 40k in a very, very long time. I have no idea what they have done in relation to um, Siegecraft and that. Uh, I would have thought that with the final segments of um, the Horus Her Heresy novels, where they're talking about the Siege of Terror, that we would have perhaps gotten some specific rules or, um, or that for... 40k, but I'm assuming it's probably been covered already somewhere to do with fortification. So, but this though is um, is just an interesting sort of you know look back and have a look at the past. So uh, you know you've got I'm not going to go into all of this, but you know they give you examples. So, you know, primitive sieges, a gift from the past. During the Dark Age of Technology, the world of Marzan was a flourishing colony based on the standard template construct, the old STC system. Now it is a degenerate medieval world and much of the old technology has been lost. So anyway, it's, it is interesting to see that you've got all sorts of little scenarios that you can play. So you've got primitive, you've got mixed sieges, you've got conventional sieges. And more importantly, this was the uh, the pictures that had me remembering about the uh, mix between the 40k and medieval, or medieval however you'd like to pronounce it. So in this one here, it's got here, the forces of the Imperium converge on a renegade navigator on the tower battlement. Must be him up there. Uh, fugitives from Imperial justice often take refuge on primitive or medieval worlds where their technological knowledge gives them immense powers over the natives. And that got me thinking about the Fallen, because in many cases the Fallen would dominate, you know, low-tech worlds, uh, or at least that's what I think the uh, some of the past information in regards to the Fallen has covered. Down here we have in this scrap medieval squats are uh, aided by the mysterious Legion of the Damned in their battle against invading orcs. Although technologically backwards, many medieval worlds have dealings with traders and warriors from the Imperium, which we quite often know about with the rogue traders. Uh, and on such worlds, technological artifacts are great sources of wonder and wealth. So, you know, just this... Um, intrigued me and then you had defending fortresses you had minefields um, some more pictures here what do we got here we've got Eldar so they seem to be looks like they're f fighting orcs yeah but look it's the imagery is what really gets me you know interested because the I think the first edition of 40k really did allow for more um, narrative style campaign play. So I'm sure that I'm sure you know many people will disagree with that. But for me, these are sort of iconic pictures from the past. So we then talk about wall-mounted weapons, grenade dumpers, mole mortars. Well. Then we have a very nice piece of um, of artwork here. So 
This is a spectacular shot of an assault upon an orc-held fortress. Imperial forces, including squats, army supporting space marines and mercenary Eldar converge upon the castle and its defenders. So that looks, you know, again, I don't know what it is, but this time period and the figures that they had available are just so iconic and to me you know i'm 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 happy to play with my older figures because well look they had characters uh, they they had character i should say and uh, i really did enjoy it so we've got energy fields assault what do we got approaching the fortress there's all sorts of things covering that then attacking the wall um so yeah it was it was interesting, yeah. Now look, we had jet bikes back in the day before they decided that uh, they'd scrapped them. Well, not scrapped them, but, you know, the models or the moulds were too difficult to produce and we all went plastic and never got to giving us jet bikes until a lot later. So, oh, you know, they gave us land bikes, which are dull and boring. Why would you have a that when you can always have a, um, you know, a bit of anti-grab? So siege dreadnoughts... Um, there was those, I think, robots were included in this somewhere. Exotic material, alien constructions. And then they give you Fort McCrag, which is interesting. Just shows you how how small it is. So what's this? Um, it was finally decided, it was, okay, High Fleet was killed, destroyed by the Dark Angels. Oh, I'm not going to attempt to look through this, but, you know, you, like you had a dungeon style affair which is um is interesting so fort mccrag and then we've got fort shagro which is obviously i'd say for the orcs yeah orc force and orc force so that's that's quite nice in itself and then they gave you obviously these were the um the information that they had produced for army list editions um Bombots loved them. Um, I don't know anybody was familiar with uh, with Rogue Trooper, but a lot of the things that were in there were so cool with um, with what they had. Uh, it was I can see where a lot of inspiration for Games Workshop came for a lot of their material. So yeah, so that's basically everything for Siege in the Forty First Millennia. And that was 1988. Yeah. So lots of fun. Um, I like this style. Uh, I've currently got a set of rules called... Um, uh, what's it called? Pulp Alley. Which is a really small narrative band. Uh, you know, uh, yeah, band creation of, of characters. You know, where I think you only have at most maybe six, six characters. And uh, I think that a lot of the stuff that's here would blend very nicely. Actually, I, I'm pretty sure there's a chap here in Brisbane who does run a narrative um, Pulp Alley um, set of adventures using 40k. But anyway, look, thank you everybody for watching. Um, let me know what your thoughts are. You know. I don't know what else I can say. But anyway, look, thank you very much for watching. And until next time, signing off, the Honourable John.